Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV and we are continuing on here with our main story quest today. Okay. So we gotta go and have a word with these royal people. Chamber of Rule. Maybe I'll have a seat at the top of that one. So we're getting close to that level 50, which will be interesting. And I guess it'll continue leveling. I'm guessing just like my miner and botanist and stuff like that. I was surprised by that. I thought it would be somewhat capped by the main storyline, but I guess they don't do that. So... Uh, unless it's different for the, uh, the battle professions, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> ah, we keep treading the same ground. Van Belsar's demands are clear. Alas, our minds are not. I've never been one to shy from a fight, but if this weapon of theirs can do all they claim... <laughs> it has been five years since the Calamity, and our people have scarce begun to rebuild their lives. Can we now, in good conscience, call upon them to risk what little they have left? I would spare them the pain of further conflict. Conflict, I say, though that would imply forces set in opposition. If the combined might of three primals could not stay Garlemald's new terror, what meaningful resistance can we offer? We who struggle to quell the foes who rise up within our own borders. Damn. Long have we fought the primals, but to what end? We strike them down at no small cost, only for them to rise again and again. Are we to play this profitless game for the rest of days? I, for one, grow tired of it. Mistake me not. I do not propose to trade one tyranny for another. I love liberty. But conciliation need not mean oppression. Yeah. By the Twelve, though neither of you cried surrender, your every word betokened it. Yeah, I have to agree with you, buddy. <sighs> not that I deny there is truth in what you say, nor can I rightly claim that Ulda is ready to fight. And you're not your little bitch. Refugees flood our gates. And beastmen swarm our land, while the great and the good do nothing. My flames struggle to bear the burden. I put on a grand show at the Remembrance Service, made all manner of lofty promises. I've made good on not a bloody one. <laughs> well, he's Do a bit not blame whiny. yourself, Raban. You said only that which the people needed to hear. All present have done the same. Our citizens had become lost to hope. If our words serve to kindle it in them anew, better we speak than remain silent. Oh, is that what the Our world enemy does? condemns us for failing our people. Yet what does he care for their well-being? While we labored to rebuild their lives, the Black Wolf built instruments of murder with which to end them. Her Majesty speaks true. For all our failings, the people's well-being has ever been our foremost priority. While none among us ever doubted that the Empire would one day resume its war, we scarcely had means enough to solve the problems of the present. Aye, 
which is why we look to others to safeguard our future. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Alas, they are gone, and the Black Wolf is at our door. Admiral! I fear you are mistaken! <laughs> Alphinord? Minfilia? And seven hells! <laughs> Master Garland? And you, dear friend. By Ralga, you're alive. All of you. As we approached, I would swear I heard talk of surrender. But I know that cannot be. It is not the Eorzean way. Hear me, my friends. Accepting the Gallians' offer to vanquish the Primals would be folly. Folly, I say. For might is not the answer to the primal threat. Indeed, the more the Empire exerts its strength, the worse matters will become. Yep. Primals enter this world when mortals call upon them, and mortals are wont to appeal to a higher power when they are desperate. Nothing is more certain to breed desperation in the beast tribes than the Garlean's proposed solution. The true answer lies in a lasting peace. But the Garleans only know war and conquest. Should Eorzea fall into their hands, there will be such suffering as none can imagine. We are not blind to the many challenges that each of your nations face. Yet you must not give in. Aye. Remember five years ago when you wagered all for the sake of the realm? Remember what you fought for? What you were willing to die for. Let the memories rekindle the fire in your heart, for Eorzea has need of it again. Come what may, we Scions will never give up the fight. And so I bid you stand with us, and together we shall safeguard the future of the realm. A great man once said that a shrewd merchant grasps not for the quick profit, but invests in the future. Wise words, eh, Raban? <laughs> Sid, I... Uh... <laughs> Your that? words stir and shame me in equal measure. How could I contemplate surrender? I know full well that all we have we owe to the sacrifices of those who went before us. Yet the seeming hopelessness of our plight robbed me of my insight. We Gridanians have no love for war. Yet we have still less for those who would threaten our homeland. Ever have we fought to protect those things we hold dear, and this shall never change. Gridania will go to war. We will fight the Empire for the sake of the realm and all who abide here. Oh my. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What the hell was that? <laughs> so confused. At long last, I hear words worthy of a founder of the Alliance. Ralbon, are we to be all done? I lost one homeland. The thought of losing another had blunted my resolve. But no man knows better than I that if you want aught, you'd best be ready to die for it. With great danger comes the chance for great glory and great profit. We old dons who have turned sand into gold know this well. <laughs> 
How many times have we fallen into the pit of despair, only to have you pluck us out? I've fair lost count. Reckless. The lot of you. Like bloody pirates. Well, I won't waste my breath trying to talk you round. <laughs> On account of being a pirate myself. And the pirate who shrinks from a challenge is no pirate at all. Arr. Those who would pick a quarrel with us must choose. Back down or go down with all hands. See, that's a very peaceful solution. Let the Garleans come. The united strength of Limsa Lominsa will be waiting for them. If our realm is to be free of this pall of darkness, let it be by our own hands. For Eorzea! We must needs consider how the weapon may be brought to bear against us. The Maelstrom will secure strategic points along the coastline. In the meantime, the flames will deploy at... Be at ease, my friends. You have banished our doubts. Pray leave the military matters to us and retire to the Waking Sands. We will send word anon. You'll send word anonymously? What? I'm so confused. Okay. You know, I feel like going this way. Screw it. Okay. So that's pretty cool. We. So now we get to see what's next here. Um, yeah, we're slowly. I, I mean, I know it takes a while, but we're we're slowly working on the the content from. There, it breaks up, right? So you have to realize one to fifty. There's its own story, which all the players played when they like bought the game and originally played it, and then patch 2.1 came in like 202 and 23 and 24 and 25. I don't know if there was one in every version of that or if it was just like, you know, I believe there was, but uh, anyways, the idea is that you have to go through all that, which I think is pretty cool. A lot of players don't like that idea. I guess if you've done it multiple times before, it could be somewhat annoying, but uh, I don't know why anyone would make it all, all the way from zero to whatever all over again, unless you're crazy like me, right? So. There you go. I cannot well express my relief to think that the Alliance came so close to surrender. But the fire in their hearts has been rekindled, and they will fight to the last. This we'll warmth over. inside. Did you feel it too, Grandfather? Oh my. I would know something. Was that your power at work earlier? Nothing of the sort. The leaders of Eorzea had lost their way. I merely helped them to find it again. Oh, hello. Yes, our party returned just a moment ago. How close are you? It's all right, Sid. We must needs plan our next move. Pray continue liaising with your respective nations. Sid, would you be our man in Ulda? I'll be whatever and wherever you need me to be. <laughs> we haven't a moment to waste. All right, let's do this. Sancred's fate weighs heavy on my mind. 
I cannot bear to think of him enthralled to an Asian. Mayhap you know this already, but the Asians are immortal beings without physical form. Since time immemorial, they have fanned the flames of chaos from the shadows. That they might work unseen, the Asians entrap and possess mortal men by means of malign artifacts known as Crystals of Darkness. One such crystal may yet be the key to saving Thancred. This is a Crystal of Darkness. A mere replica, created using data obtained from anomalous crystals found across Eorzea. <laughs> It comes to us courtesy of the students of Baldessian, our distant allies. Even for an Archon, Thancred's talents are exceptional. We all had complete confidence in him. It was for this reason that none among us foresaw the danger in sending him to investigate the Asians alone. Thancred had been striving to fill the void left by Louis Soir. Yet, it was plain that he was overtaxing himself. Yeah, he would volunteer for everything and work till he was dizzy. And the toll taken by his exertions made him vulnerable to Asian influence. The crystal that binds Thancred must be somewhere on his person. If we could but destroy it, his Asian possessor would be compelled to relinquish control over him. You have proven the stoutest of allies, standing with us through thick and thin. Yet the most perilous struggle is still to come. For the sake of the realm, and Thancred, I ask that you lend us your strength once more. I assume that's going to be like the case all through the game, like... To Thank lady you. plus from the bottom of my heart. So it can get worse from here on. <laughs> As I am sure you are aware, the realm was saved from certain doom five years ago by heroes known as the Warriors of Light. What you may not be aware of is that your many feats in service to the Scions have prompted folk to make certain comparisons. I must confess, you do remind me of them. Yet remember this, however glorious the past, it is the hero's lot to be judged on the deeds of the present. A new darkness threatens the realm, and the people cry out for a savior. I believe that you are she, a warrior of light, here in the present, Guided by the crystal's will. Come, my friends. Let us fight to safeguard the future of our beloved Eorzea. Can't wait to change my clothes. Forgot about that. There you go. Is that really appropriate? It's just so you can get a good pick, you know, view of her ass. It's kind of rude. Oh, that's cool. So this is our home area. This is uh, where we started originally. And uh, this is the guys of the south. Well, they're more desert and stuff. And these guys are the ocean guys. And these are the greeniest. So there's a stronghold. Oh, okay. I feel like we saw strong strongholds out here. But were they outposts somewhere? I don't know where they'd be on the map. But Oh. 
There we go. Yeah, it would be to the south because it was in between. Oh, and there's one friggin' right there. Oh, yeah, because this is men mental. Yeah, okay. This is their one. Okay, so it was, it'd be over in here. Yeah, I guess that would be the one. I thought maybe it was in between, but I guess it was at the back there. That's cool. I just love that part. Damn. I was so violent. It was really cool with the map. <laughs> Crystal walks in my light, bitch. That's how it goes around here. <laughs> May the crystal embrace my light. Okay, so... Wait. That's just outside the doors, isn't it? Except you have to go through like five doors to get there. <laughs> I should tell them what happened to the last guards that were here.
bleu. Okay, this is pretty damn cool. Pretty cool. Just walking through. I've never seen this. I wonder if I. I guess it would have been. Yeah. Not sure why I've never. Why I've never noticed it or walked through here. I must have one time. No. This looks familiar, but then again, yeah, no, yeah, I don't know. I think I've never been to this one particularly. Or I just forget. You know, it's been a while, right? I can't even find the darn staging thing. It's up here, apparently. Well, that's cool. Didn't even like notice that from this area, but that's the th cool thing about this game is just like, you know. Cool. Haircut. Even have a light post here? That's kind of cute. Oh, I, I guess we can kill this guy. I guess he's supposed to run through it or something. Yeah, like I've never noticed this. I feel shameful almost. If I had any shame, that is. Yeah, I'm just gonna run through this like an idiot and see if we can survive. I'm gonna keep going. Probably not the smartest idea, but that's what I've decided. Oh, yeah, my ideas have gone bad, I think. Okay. Not so bad now.
And there you go. And now we've turned it into a fate, which that's awesome. We're going to work on that, of course, over time. But I think for this episode, I think that's where we're going to end it, just because it only makes sense for us to uh, work on this on the next, especially since these things do usually take a wee bit. It's really cool. Beautiful out there. Isn't that cool, just being able to see, like, different landmark areas? That's really awesome. Anyways, look at, like, the landmarks everywhere. Anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.